few months ago, I built this 4 terabyte FreeNAS server, but I haven't been able to find anything to back it up. It's been running without a backup. Sure, it's in RAID 5, but as many people will tell you, there's a lot more things that can go wrong with a server than just having a disk drive go down. So this 4 terabyte server that has 2.6 terabytes of usable space needs to have a backup, and that's what we're going to build today. For this backup server, we're going to use three one terabyte drives in a RAID 0 format. We need fewer drives than in the RAID 5 file server because we're not trying for redundancy here. We just want a place to put the data. We're going to use a, an old Pentium 3 Dell for this job. It's got 256 meg of RAM and a P3 1 gigahertz processor. That's really lame, but it's all we need. So the idea here is that you can use old hardware. You'll just need to make sure that you have a floppy because FreeNAS uses the floppy and an optical drive because you'll be booting off the optical drive. But this computer will be more than sufficient to run FreeNAS and act as a backup. It turns out that the RAID card that you use is important. I tried to run this uh, with a different RAID card and uh, it didn't work. So I got lucky with this card before the Roswell 4-port PCI adapter, uh, the RC-209-EX. Got this from Newegg. Uh, this is what this is the same card that's in the 4 terabyte server. So I have every reason to believe that it'll work on this one. Note over here I've got the network card. That's a gigabit network card because everything on my network is gigabit. So we want to be consistent. So now I'm going to install the RAID card. Uh, and then install the SATA hard drives. Okay, I've installed the SATA controller. You can see the cables have installed to the hard drives. The SATA, you know, going from, a, from the old style ATA drives to the SATA drives, the, the installation is much easier. I just have to power, I just have to put in the power cables and we'll be ready to uh, see if it works. Now we're ready to try a boot. I want to go into the setup screen first to make sure it recognizes the drives. We got a boot. <laughs> That's good. And you can see the, the drives are all recognized. We don't want to do a hardware raid. We want to use FreeNAS to do a software raid. So uh, we've got the CD-ROM reader. I should have the FreeNAS software in there, and I don't. I have to find my FreeNAS disk. FreeNAS has booted on the test bench. Now we just need to take it down, connect it to the network, and configure it on the web browser. OK, we are at the FreeNAS setup screen. We just need to configure the disks into RAID 0 format and we'll be ready to go with the backup. Now once the FreeNAS part is configured then you need to figure out well alright how are we going to move things over from the server to the backup and uh, always sync, uh, rsync, there's a whole bunch of sync programs out there to use to back up the system and you can keep both computers on all the time or you could just turn the backup on when you want to do the backup uh, but then that would be that, that would involve some effort uh, as opposed to automating it uh, automating it is is probably the holy grail here I do want to mention that rsync is built into FreeNAS and I haven't used it before but it's a built-in backup so ideally it will just cause the server to back up to the client at the times that I set it automatically and I won't have to worry about it again. That would be beautiful. We'll see if it works. It took me a while to set our sync up as a mirror. I'd never worked with it before so I really had to figure it out. It was funny just figuring out that I had to set up a separate share under our sync on the server. It took me forever. 
It was really basic, but it wasn't the manual wasn't really clear, and I didn't get it for a while. But it's running now, as you can see, and it'll run as a real-time mirror between the two boxes. The speed is not wonderful. I haven't tweaked the server box. I'm sorry, the client box to uh, to maximize the speed because I didn't really care. Uh, but I might work on that later. Uh, but again, you know, it's not crucial. And you might think that I have this exactly backwards, that I've got a, I should have the RAID 0 backing up to the RAID 5. But the fact is that the box I'm using for the RAID 5 is faster than the pathetic Pentium 3 1 gigahertz machine. So it's six of one half dozen of another. There's a number of different ways to skin this cat, and this way works for me with um, uh, spending the, mo the least amount of money and using uh, old machines. So I have a lot of data redundancy. I should ha be able to rely on these machines to some degree. Nothing, of course, is infallible, but uh, this this goes uh, this should work pretty well. So after running all night. You can see that it's now up to 13% of the 2.6 terabytes available. Remember, this is a 3 terabyte box that uh, is using three 1 terabyte drives, um, 2.6 terabytes available, which is the same as the 4 terabyte RAID 5 server. So after uh, running rsync all night, uh, it's up to 13%. The uh, the main server I think has 56% or so. So it's it's working really well. I'll tell you the people at FreeNAS that created FreeNAS are geniuses, and so are the people that created FreeBSD. This is some seriously cool software. After I get it synced up, I'll probably reduce the backups to once a week so that I won't have any of the risk of data corruption that you have with a mirrored backup system. Like watching Thade's videos? Why not listen to his podcast, Friday Night Party Line, at www.fridaynightpartyline.com. Smart guests, eclectic topics, really anything is fair game.